Hey, it's Sagittarius. This is Sunny from Sunny Glow LLC. And I'm here with your October 2017 reading. Thank you guys for all your support and love. I really appreciate it. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out my website, which is www.thesunnyglow.com. All right, now, I don't know why I'm so damn dark. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what's going on for y'all. I can't do that. Okay, that song, Do You Believe in Magic, is playing in my head. So maybe you guys are going to be um, into witchcraft, into manifestations. Um, maybe you're going to go to a little show and going to see like a magician, who knows. Or maybe this may, uh, this might be a metaphor saying if you just believe, things will work out for you. Let's see what's going on. No, what I'm saying September. I feel for some of y'all, y'all may be all over the place in regards to what time is it, what day is it, what month is it, what year is it. I don't know why. I just feel like maybe some of y'all are thinking about things that happened in September. Maybe you're going to be thinking about your future in 2018 and you're just like ready to end the particular things you're ready to start particular things and you just want to make stuff happen for some of y'all um you it feels like you guys are going to be very very busy um to the point where you know you don't know what time it is you don't know what day it is like y'all are really going to be on your hustle you want to be on your grind um or maybe some of y'all like you're just going to be really really depressed to the point where you know you don't even want to know what day it is I'm ready for a lot of my Saggies, so it just depends. Let's see. You guys are going to be able to move mountains. You're going to be able to help yourself out of a tricky situation, or you're going to be able to really help somebody. I just feel like this month is going to be the time where you're going to be a bit of a guru. Um, or maybe even like a monk to be honest maybe even a preacher like it just feels like you guys are going to have the answers or maybe people expect the answers out of you um but from my vision i saw a very powerful looking monk and he had his hands up and the sun was behind him um and it just felt like i'm giving you you know messages I'm, I'm here for you i'm here to you know take care of you maybe you guys are going to be greatly protected by you know your spirit guides or your ancestors um or maybe this is just going to be a really good time for you know those who are in community those who are um in the communication field or those who are in the spiritual field and you know people are looking to you for answers This is also going to be a really good time for y'all to erase karma. Like, mm, confirmation. Erase karma. Yeah. Um, Will of Fortune, Two of Swords, Ace of Wands. Really good time for um, clearing out karmic, you know, karmic baggage. Letting that go. Especially things um, in regards to your heart. Like, getting over past relationships. Um, changing the repetitive cycle to your relationships to like how you view love um and where you're going in life like i really feel like the month of october is going to be the time where you all just fresh start some of y'all may get um cars where you don't have keys like you just fresh start um i also feel that some of y'all may be hit with information that you really don't care about <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, uh, I'm gonna say this. Some of y'all may have a lot of people who want you, you know, to know how they're doing and, you know, want you to know, like, what's going on with them. And it may be kind of annoying, like, I don't care. Some of y'all may be in this I don't care attitude. Some of y'all may be just more focused on yourself, more focused on your goals and just, like, making stuff happen. So just be careful about that. I also feel, you know, that maybe this is gonna be a really good time for y'all to um really you know 
take other people's feelings into consideration. I do feel like this month is going to be very busy, very heavy, very heavy. But, you know, at the same time, you need to be understanding that there's other people around you. All right, but let's see what's going on. Give me six cards. What's going on for the Sagis? I hate that I'm dark, y'all. And I don't feel like rearranging my shit right now. All right, give me six cards for Sagis here. Sis. Ooh. Mm, confirmation. <laughs> give me six cards for Sag. Sorry, y'all, I, I wanted to change my own, um, the way I was sitting. I gave me six cards for Sagittarius sis. For October 2017, October 2017 for Sagittarius. I keep wanting to say September, so there may be some issues that happen in September that y'all aren't really over. Like the sense of unfinished business is gonna do. Okay. Your hard work is going to gain fame. You can take that you want to. Some of you are really going to be noticed by the right people. Um, I also feel that you guys will gain success. Like even if it's tough, even if it's hard, you guys are going to gain success. Um, the first, the first two weeks of this month may be kind of difficult. There's a sense of you guys grieving. Whether you're grieving over the things that you did, the things that you said, the things that someone did, the things that someone said, um, or just not not being able to respond quickly. I feel like there was a sense of an emergency that has happened, and maybe some of y'all feel like you're dead weight. Maybe some of y'all feel like you know you you weren't good enough because I, I feel like there's this heavy energy that's going to that's going to happen for the beginning of this month and maybe even this happened in september um where something you know caught you off guard it took you for a loop and it felt like you hit rock bottom but i'm seeing how you're going to be able to pick up and continue moving forward just have faith just have faith that everything will be all right and it really what the fuck people are like calling me like crazy and it really confirms with what i said like do you believe in magic like do you believe in positivity you know do you believe in wonder do you believe in miracles so please just really think positively i just feel like that's the big thing for you all if you soak, if you're depressed, if you feel like nothing is going to work in your favor, then it's not going to work in your favor. But I'm seeing how a particular opportunity is going to make its way upon your path. Whether it's, you know, a new baby, it's a new relationship, it's an old friend coming in, it's a job, whatever the case may be. I feel like whatever this new opportunity is, it's going to give you hope. And you're going to know that this opportunity is going to bring you light and happiness by this odd pick-me-up that, that you feel. It's, I feel like it's coming in a form of congratulations or get well. I, I just feel like it's, it's one of the two, like a sense of you got it, you can make it. I, I, whatever this is, it's going to really pick you up. It's going to get you out of this mode of depression, sadness. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. But I'm seeing how you guys shouldn't take help for granted. Whether it's help from the universe help from another person or maybe you know someone needs your help and support because I'm seeing how either you allowed for someone to put you in this odd predicament or maybe some you did it to somebody else somebody did it to you whatever the case may be I feel like there was a situation where you and another person fail at the same time 
things got tough. And now it's like you need each other for support. You need each other, you know, to, to move through this journey. And maybe for some of you, maybe you were in this toxic, weird relationship and now you're starting to see the brightness of this person. Maybe you're starting to realize why you were in this marriage or relationship in the first place. And, you know, you may decide to stay with this partner. You may decide to, you know, just try to make things work. But just, just make sure that it isn't going to go back to how it was. I am seeing how some of y'all need to get a divorce. Like if you're married slash separated, but you have a girlfriend or, you know, you're messing around with other people, like you, you're going to have to get that divorce. Because I'm seeing how karmically it's, it's kind of bad for you. It's, it's like it isn't giving you that full access into starting a new relationship. And some of y'all, like if you are legally married but separated and you have a boyfriend or you, you're, you're doing whatever you want, you may ask yourself, why am I having such a difficult time with my current relationship? You know, why is this going on? It's because, like, karmically, it isn't right. That's what I'm picking up. And I'm not judging y'all. This is what I'm picking up from this source. It isn't right. And you're being hit with a lot of obstacles because it's time for you to close that chapter. It's time for you to, you know, get that divorce. Stop holding on to what ifs, you know. Just stop. What are you holding on to? Why, why are you, you know, not divorced yet? That's what I'm hearing. And maybe some of y'all... Like maybe your girlfriend or your boyfriend is telling you, hey, why aren't you divorced yet? You said you don't want her. You said you don't want him. What's the hold up? Or maybe if you aren't married or anything, um, maybe you're constantly breaking up your ex. And maybe your partner's like, why do you keep talking about your ex? You know, you're with me, so I'm bringing them up. Or stop accusing me for things that your ex did. Because I'm seeing how that's affecting your relationship. There's there's some sort of cycle that's going on where someone else has a hold on you or vice versa that's affecting the relationship. Especially if you have kids. Some of you may be using the excuse of, oh, we have kids together. Um, whatever the case may be, don't use excuses. Don't do that. But I'm also saying, y'all already know how my ratings be jumpy as hell it is, what the fuck it is. Um, but I am seeing how you guys' intuition are going to be, like, so awesome. Really high vibration for pregnancy. I just feel like, y'all, this is like, this month is going to be like, like, let's go. Let's, whatever unfinished business you got really funny because leo's kind of got this message like unfinished business kind of deal like whatever needs to end y'all need to make let it be let it be because if you try to carry on with it you're going to continue to have these odd obstacles and you're going to wonder why 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 because i feel like y'all are being hit with like moral karma like what's right what's wrong kind of deal mm -mm. all right sorry about that if y'all hear any noise i have kiwi now and yeah but um some of y'all may go through issues with pets um maybe your pets are a bit more rowdier than usual um for some of you maybe you're finding out that someone is abusing your pet. Maybe you are abusing your pet. Some of y'all may give up your pet because your pet is, um, how many times am I gonna say pet, honey? <laughs> Some of y'all may be abusing your pet because, or you may be giving away, it's okay, I got it. I'm recording. Okay, thank you. 
Um, so we all may be um, giving away your pet because I feel like, like maybe your pet bit you or bit someone else. Or for some of you, your pet may be sick and you have to put it down. I also feel for some of y'all, what? You're trying to help me read. Yeah. Um, I do see for some of y'all you may have issues with your kids, especially if you aren't with um the child's mother or father anymore. It's like either you're having issues with that particular child or with uh, that child. Yeah, yeah. Or with that child's parent. Uh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You gonna help mama weed? Who gonna help mama weed? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Since Kiwi is very smiley and um, talkative, there may be really big vibrations for pregnancy. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm getting this message. Be positive. If life gives you lemonades, understand why it's going on. But just smile. Every morning you wake up, you say, God, I'm thankful. People who come into your life, you know, who are kind to you, be kind to them. Please, be thankful. Be thankful and happy. Get as much sleep as you can. New beginnings are coming your way. Happiness is coming your way as well. I do see where there's talk to travel. Um, there's also movement, while you're moving into a new home, getting a new job, just starting fresh. Starting fresh, but treat this new fresh start responsibly and be happy as much as you can. Ain't that white you Ain't that white? Yeah, good white. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video. Sorry. Good luck with everything. And I shall see you for mid-October. Bye.